professional basketball's NBA Finals get underway tonight with a familiar and historic rivalry. The defending champions, the Golden State Warriors, square off against the Cleveland Cavaliers for the fourth straight year. That is a record. Never before in major American sports have two teams faced each other in the championship that many years in a row. While the matchup may be a repeat, Amna Navaz tells us why this competition is still a contest with compelling storylines. Judy, there's a reason these two teams keep battling every June. The Warriors have a dynamic offense and four all-stars, most of whom are seen as future Hall of Famers. Cleveland, meanwhile, has LeBron James, who is arguably the best basketball player in the world. And this is the eighth straight trip to the finals for the 33-year-old superstar. So before the games get underway, let's hear some appreciation about this unique moment in time. Kevin Blackstone is a sports columnist with The Washington Post and frequent panelist with ESPN. Kevin, thanks for making the time. Let's talk about this now. Obviously, there are the individual stars. I want to talk about them in a second. But just talk to me about this matchup for a second, this rivalry. Is this going to go down as one of the all-time greats? You know, I, I think it will. Four years in a row, um, that rarely happens anymore. Uh, and the fact that it's such a, uh, a constellation of stars with LeBron James and Steph Curry and Kevin Durant and all the uh, league MVPs and, and NBA final MVPs that they have uh, among them, the scoring championships, um, all of that, that's what makes this really great. And it's going to go down in history as, as one of the great all-time uh, rivalries in the finals. So tell me a little bit about how we got here now. In many ways... LeBron, the Cavaliers, they should not be here in the first place. No. Both teams went through a pretty rough season to get here, but talk to me a little bit about how the Cavs managed to get here. Sure. Well, the, the, the Cavs got here by the fact that they were riding LeBron James's Superman cape. I mean, that's all you can say. Uh, he has been spectacular this postseason. This is a team which, mind you, this year went through all sorts of changes. And last year in the offseason, they lost the second best player on their team, a superstar in his own right, Kyrie Irving, who no longer wanted to play next to LeBron James. Uh, he got traded to, to Boston. Uh, Boston traded a little uh, point guard named uh, uh, Isaiah Thomas to, to Cleveland. He was hurt. He only played uh, a couple of months. He wasn't very good. Um, finally, Cleveland got rid of him for spare parts from the Lakers. Uh, Kevin Love, who's the other really good player supposedly on the, on the Cavaliers team, uh, has been up and down all year and was hurt the last few games with a concussion. So it really all rested on LeBron James's shoulders in the playoffs, and all he did was lead his team to a sweep of the Toronto Raptors, who were the best team in the East this year. Uh, and then he beat Boston in Boston in Game 7, um, with a spectacular individual performance in which he played every minute of the game, which kind of encapsulated his season in which he played every game this season. Uh, did not miss one to injury, illness, anything. Didn't even get a rest. Um, and yet he has carried this team to the NBA Finals yet again. It's and remarkable. So, Kevin, we're on the front end of those finals, though. I mean, LeBron may be a superhero, but can he continue to do that? You're talking about a 33-year-old sure. guy, his 15th year in the league. And tonight, when he suits up, it's going to be the 101st time this season he does that. Can he continue to do that through the finals? I have learned never to doubt LeBron James. Now, two years ago, um, when it was the second time that these two teams met in the, uh, in the finals. Um, the Warriors jumped to a three games to one lead in this best of, best of uh, seven series. And guess what happened? Somehow, some way, LeBron James willed his team, dragged his team to a game seven and won <laughs> that game seven for the championship for Cleveland. So anything is possible. It's certainly not going to be a runaway, I don't think, like it was uh, last year when Golden State just uh, plowed through the playoffs uh, out west and then um, beat the, the Cavaliers four games to one. Um, they have struggled this year because of injuries. Uh, they struggled against the Houston Rockets to get to the finals. They were uh, benefited by, by an injury to Chris Paul um, and, uh, with Houston, and they were able to soldier through. Um, but once again, I, I can never, ever pick against LeBron James. And they just got word this afternoon that Kevin Love, who suffered a concussion and couldn't play the last couple of games, uh, will be available tonight. He's passed the uh, NBA concussion protocol. 
anything can happen. It's a game to watch tonight. Absolutely. Kevin Blackstone, thanks for your time. Thank you.